All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the marathon. I'm Iron. I we're got a little bonus game in here. We're way ahead of schedule, so I thought I had a found. I thought, figured I had a, I had a good 25 minute run that is also a meme because we are technically still in the meme block uh, to show off for you guys. So this is Pocket Gaiden. It's a ROM hack that came out in 2020, I believe. And I did this run at the PSR Marathon either 2020 or 2021. Um, but that was the normal any percent run. And uh, this is a little bit more of an interesting category. As you can tell by the category, it's called any percent debug. And you may have an idea of what that may entail. And some of you may have seen me stream this a few months ago. But uh, we'll just hop right in here. And so I'll start counting you down for the time. Going in three, two, one, go. Okay, so this is a really short little ROM hack that the creator uh, Ocean created for a competition kind of thing. It was like they had, he had a short amount of time to make the game, and uh, this is actually a really fun speed run. Um, it's kind of a very requires a lot of luck on a few of the fights, but we're going to be using debug to go fast. So I'm just going to dodge a bunch of encounters on this tall grass. I'm also going to dodge this spinner. Um, in the normal run, I would actually just fight that guy because I have to pass him a bunch later, but it's not worth fighting him there. Okay. We're now in the first battle. So here's where things are going to go off the rails a little bit. So for whatever reason, I, it took me a while to discover this, actually. I realize you can access the debug menu. So I'm going to go to this. I'm going to go tackle... Uh, actually, a Thundershock into Psychic, and then Charm into Eruption. I'm going to change my held item to... Lucky Egg. Stats. Okay. So I did, I did a bunch of things there. I gave myself th uh, Psychic and Eruption as my moves. Those will stick around for the entire run. I gave myself a Lucky Egg, because I need a bit more experience. And that's a good way to get experience. And I also um, made my attack 9,000 for this fight. So I was able to one-shot these two mods with Tackle. Uh, the stat-ups are going to be go away with each battle, so I have to reapply them each time. And sometimes I may raise my stat stage instead, rather than the stat itself. This encounter is slow, but it's okay. Not a big deal. I've also picked up a rare candy um, and a... Um, this big mushroom. And both of those, I'm just going to sell for money later. So I'm actually not going to be using them. As I would be using them in... Uh, well, I think I sell the big mushroom in the regular 80% run, and the rare candy I use it as a rare candy. But I'm going to just do that instead. Alright, I'm just going to eruption the Oddish. Super fast way to do that. Alright. So don't, no need to go in the debug menu for that battle. I've got another battle coming up here after a little bit of grass to go through. No encounters, which is good. This is sort of our rival. His name's Log. He's an engineer, like myself, actually. And um, he's he's going to be help. We're going to be meeting him uh, later on in our journey. And I'm going to do a thing here. So I'm going to go down to uh, or my notes. Held item. Lucky egg, we're gonna change that too. Oh, that was really slow. Just gave myself the mock bike. Now I have not played this game in a while, so we'll see some very bad mock bike move mock bike movement. Hopefully I don't scrub too badly. Because we wanna go fast. Uh, there's one more I, I hold item that I'm gonna grab later on in the run. And We'll uh, apply that on the next battle, which actually won't be for a little while, because I'm not going to be doing too many battles for the next little bit. So pretty much we're a berry farmer. We're, we want to make a little more money and move to the big cities, but we need um, to find the hidden treasure that's in the, it's in the land here. Oops, and we want to do... Oh, wait, I screwed up.
I also my sprite changes when I get on the bike. Kind of funny. Sell those two items I picked up and buy max repels, which is 19 of them. Um, he, he's gonna be fixing the truck so we can actually take off and move on to the big city. So we're, while uh, he's doing that, we're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure here. Here, okay, that trainer. I'm playing on the latest version of this ROM, um, which is not what I do for the any percent run. Um, in the previous version, there that spinner that I just passed, she actually you actually have to pass her and do like a bag nip or run to walk or whatever. Um, but she's actually moved over a tile in this version, so I don't have to worry about that. The reason why I run the older version for the regular any percent route is because the second last battle um, his lead has a worse move set and it makes the run a lot worse to run so I run the er we run I just run the earlier version uh, that's what the version is on the later board but for this debug uh, category you could run either version and this the newest version is better just because of that spinner that I just passed. All right. So we just got the learned some something from the oracle as to where that hidden treasure is. Oops, we got it this way. I messed up. So you talk these pillars right to left. So we gotta access these ruins and learn more of the lore as to where everything is. Where the hidden treasure is. This should be fine. Not, not, nothing to worry about here. We'll just... Oh, he has two Pokemon. Okay. This, uh... I'm gonna go in the debug menu here. Uh, stats... The extra level is not really useful because I'm going to be using the debug menu to change my stats and whatnot. That's okay. Okay, so we, there's three more ruins we have to get to, but the um, our buddy Log actually can build bridges. So he's going to build one bridge and we're going to access another one of the, one of the ruins first before he uh, finishes that first bridge. Now this is this guy gives you the power glove, which is effectively rock smash as an item. Um, I did look into actually giving myself the rock smash or the power glove is what it's called. Um, 
through the debug menu, but you can't give yourself an item and skip talk to this guy, so I'm kind of stuck talking to the guy here. I'm just gonna stay on foot here, because it's a little bit faster than trying to deal with Bach bike. Should be repelling. Right, this next area has got some tricky movement. I'm going to play it really safe. Um, I messed that up. That's that's okay. Um, there is a way to do that movement, like where you go down and up quickly. But um, I'm just gonna do this again. I'm not sure how my eruption PP is, and I don't want to. Oh, it has sturdy. Interesting. This is potentially a problem. Oh yeah, it's fine. Spinner Act is okay. Don't need to worry about you. So this uh, puzzle, I have to step on all four corners. Okay, we're going here. Okay, good. All right, that's two ruins down. Um, two to go. Whoops! I've already read the read the writing on the wall. Oh, I risked that. Um, fine, though. Yeah, these trainers aren't bad with the debug menu, but if I ran into them into in a regular 8% run, it would pretty much be run over, because you're kind of underleveled at this point in the run. I need to go this way. Huh. So we have a bridge built here. Huh. I gotta go here. And then this puzzle, I have to talk to this statue always from the right. I went the wrong way. Getting really lucky. The encounter rate's kind of low in here, but it's okay. It's uh, getting kind of lucky. Oh my god. 
that, so that's looking pretty badly. Riding over to the last set of ruins. This one's pretty easy. That's for the wall, it starts raining, and then in we go here. Okay, so now we go fall down here. Okay, so this is our room, and he's kind of the ruler of the city down here, and he has he knows where the crown thing is that we're looking for, uh, which we're going to sell for money in order to... Relic crown, there it is. To uh, move to the big city. Uh, so he's going he's gonna to present us with a few more puzzles and uh, and whatnot, too. Now, I need to... There's a trainer up here I gotta be careful about. Okay. <laughs> she was running. So normally I would go pick up a bunch of items here, I would um, teach some moves to my Milan that I caught, which was my new main, give it some candies, and uh, and whatnot, but uh, we're just going to skip all that because we have access to the debug menu. And so there's a bunch of puzzles here, I'm not going to do a lot of them on the bike because it'll be really, really bad and my, ma my mock bike movement isn't great, but we're just going to play it nice and safe here. Okay, so anyone likes Diglett, this is a puzzle for you. This is um, our first ace trainer. Diglett was caught in Noevos, yes. And it was caught in Etiquette's run as well. Okay, so we're going to go to held items here. We're going to change. We're going to give ourselves a wonderful choice specs. We're going to go to stat stages. I'm going to give my speed plus two. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. Uh, we need to change this to eight. That gives myself a plus two in speed. And then I want to go down to special attack and give my special attack. There we go. All right. So what I did there is I gave myself the choice specs, so now I do 50% more damage provided I don't. I'm stuck with using the move that I one move that I use. I am plus two in speed, so my speed is effectively 50% um, higher. And I've also made my special attack plus six. So I'm doing a lot of damage with Eruption right now. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Eruption is a 150 base power um, fire move. Which is 100% accurate. It has 5 PP, but for whatever reason, when you access the debug menu, you end up with 20 PP of it for whatever reason. I'm not sure why, but I'm not going to complain. Alright, so that's puzzle one of four down. Next is the music notes puzzle, and I'm not going to be doing this on the bike because 
it's quite bad. Eight, six, seven, five, eight, seven, three, six. Done, and then part three, four, three, two, five, eight, six, one, seven. Okay, this guy doesn't, uh, he's forgotten his Pokemon, so we don't have to fight him, but we get the puzzle completed, which is excellent. And then I go to this one. Normally I would not go to this one. Actually, do I go this way? No, I don't. I, those puzzle, those those boulders, I don't push because I don't need to pick up the item that's up there, which is a rare candy, I believe. Okay. Now we're in our next fight. Uh, we're gonna be changing our stats for this one. Stats. Four to speed. Um. Fine, and we go to special oh, stats, special attack. Okay. So I just gave myself max speed and max special attack. The reason why I did that, I can't remember the exact reason why, actually, because I have to change my stats again here. Uh. It might be because that when you level up, the stat ups disappear, but I could be wrong. Yeah, that's actually it. I'm not sure why these. I can't don't just do these stat increases. Oh, I know why the, you can't do the stat increases because the Swoobat has unaware, and I believe it just ignores the stat ups. So giving your, you have to give yourself the max um, stat instead. Okay, so let's just see what I'm doing. I'm going to get off the bike here. Okay. Just took that a little safe, just to be extra safe. Okay, so we've got solved all four puzzles. Now we have our second last fight of the run. We're actually going to fight our buddy Aram here to get the uh, crown relic. A relic crown. Okay, so this fight's pretty straightforward. Of course, the debug menu, it is. Everything is pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go into stat stages. I'm going to go to speed. I'm going to make my... I didn't need to do that, that's fine. I don't need that much speed, special attack. I do need to do that, though. Okay. So I just need plus two speed, and it is a little bit faster to go to plus, speed, to plus two speed instead of plus six. But that's okay. Uh, that Smeargle is the, the reason why we run the earlier uh, version of the hack for the regular 80% route, because it has... I think it has Will-O-Wisp in this version, and we're... And, our, and the bomb we use is a grass type, and it usually will just either use Spore or... What's the other move it has? Double Edge, I think? But we do not want to get burned, because burned is burned, and getting burned is very bad. And so, But for this, since we're using the debug menu, everything is fine and dandy. And this Torque Hole is, has kindly set up... Um, the sun for us, so we do more damage even though it's not very effective. Oh, try to learn to recycle. Shoutouts to Fire Red Leaf Green any percent. And the uh, ace that we do there. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the surface. We've got the Relic Crown. We're ready to go. We just need to go back to our truck.
And we have one last battle against our friend Log. The mechanics stun with the truck, everything looks good. And I'm just going to talk to the truck, and now Log wants to challenge us to one more fight. And this is our final fight of the run. So time will come up, It'll there'll be like a Hall of Fame, kind of like what we see in, uh, in Pokemon Emerald. This is an Emerald ROM hack, technically. So we're going to go to stat stages, we're going to go to special attack, and we're just going to give ourselves Axe special attack. And we're good to go. And I have 7 Eruption PP, and this guy has 6 Mons. I usually have a lot more Eruption PP, but uh, I did hit an optional. But that's okay. If I didn't have enough, I don't know what I would do. I should have probably been paying more attention to my PP, but that's fine. I would have just gone healed. Yes, yeah, so this fight's really bad. You have to... The Mon you typically use is Shiftery, and you have to set up to, like, plus 6 with... Um... What? What's your setup move? It's a setup move. I don't remember what it is. Growth, I think. And so, these Pokemon do a lot of damage. It's pretty scary. Um, and you use Natural Gift as your ability, air attack, and you equip berries, and you use also Nature Power. It's a really interesting moveset, and I highly recommend uh, to check out that run as well. This run's more of a meme, but it's kind of fun to just do just for uh, the funsies. Alright, this is the last Pokemon in the battle. And there we go. Alright, so we just got a little more mashing to do, and we'll be coming up on the Hall of Fame and uh, end of time. All right, so yeah, um, we kind of inserted this run. We were running a little bit ahead of schedule, so thanks um, for the rest, to the rest of the committee for allowing me to do this run last minute. And um, hope everyone's enjoying the marathon. Thanks to everybody on tech and all the volunteers, especially Furist, who's done a great job um, letting us use his PC and whatnot. And time will be coming up very shortly now. All right. Thanks for... Uh, tuning in and uh, enjoy the rest of the marathon, guys. We'll see you uh, in a bit.